Tonight, another round of COVID-19 vaccines are being prepped to be delivered throughout the Chicago area, bringing with it more comfort for parents. <laughs> Tears from a little one, a little hard to watch. Very happy and a little sad that my wife didn't take her to this. But in this case, these tears brought relief to many parents. She's our youngest daughter. We have two older ones. They're already vaccinated, boosted, and we've just been waiting on her. Now the wait is finally over. It's a really exciting time for both parents and pediatricians. Today, the first round of COVID-19 vaccinations for the last group to get CDC approval, including infants, toddlers, and preschoolers, has already begun in the Chicago area. I'm just happy that we're able to kind of put it into this chapter. And this morning, parents wasted no time. For us, it was it was a very easy decision. Hours before the Ronald Reagan Pharmacy in Bloomingdale got its shipment, the pharmacy's vaccine coordinator said there were multiple families from all over the state and beyond waiting in the parking lot. People from Wisconsin, Peoria, Frankfurt, Mount Prospect, Rockford, Indiana. Willing to wait it out in the heat. They had a little cute tent, their lunches, snacks, toys, iPads, and they were just kind of camping out in the car and waiting. Rather than sweat, any COVID concerns for their younger kids. We've underestimated, I think, some of the risks in terms of how sick the kids potentially can get from it. La Rabita Hospital in Chicago serves children with special medical needs. The hospital is now awaiting its first shipment to vaccinate that's most vulnerable patients. They're at much higher risk than other kids even for um, getting more severe effects of COVID. But no matter the level of risk, for most parents, any risk for their children is one risk too many. There's no magic bullet, but it's the right thing to do. So I'm grateful we got to this stage. Parents will have the option of choosing either Pfizer or Moderna. The FDA says the differences between the two are less than the risks of not getting vaccinated. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.